Hi, everybody, and welcome to Squawking with Josh, Minnesota 2, Bigfoot's on the Coronavirus. I'm filming this episode on a uh, Zoom meeting in the spirit of, uh, you know, self-isolation and uh, quarantine that's going on with this uh, global health crisis right now. And speaking of this Zoom meeting, uh, it doesn't appear that this uh, Sasquatch background I have is exactly working. Let me, let me fix that real quick. Okay, that's better. So I thought I'd record this episode in, in the form of a Zoom meeting um, in, in this uh, theme of the global coronavirus pandemic and, and discuss the impacts that that has on Bigfoot research and, and perhaps on Bigfoot themselves. I think that, you know, with this uh, pandemic, there's probably two main questions uh, on the minds of most uh, Sasquatch enthusiasts. And I think that uh, those questions would be, one, how is Sasquatch behavior affected by the fact that uh, a lot of folks are staying home and probably not utilizing the uh, natural areas where oftentimes Sasquatches make their habitats or the uh, migration routes such as rivers and uh, parks and other places that Sasquatches would habitate. People aren't using those, so what's the effect on the Sasquatch behavior? Um, and then the second question would be, can Sasquatches themselves get the coronavirus? Um, as far as the first question goes, I would imagine that many um, Sasquatch family units are feeling a certain uh, amount of freedom right now to um, inhabit the landscape more actively without having to worry about making contact with human beings as more people are um, practicing self-isolation or quarantine during this uh, global crisis. But um, I have noticed that it's also, uh, people also seem to have the idea that they can social distance while um, engaging in outdoor activities and that certain um, wilderness areas have been pretty popular. So this might actually be having the reverse effect to where Sasquatch habitats are even more invaded um, by human presence than usual. Um, as for the second question, can Sasquatches get coronavirus? Well, that all depends on what you think Sasquatches are. Um, if you're a uh, flesh and blood uh, researcher, then I would think, and you know, so that would mean you think that Sasquatches are basically some kind of as yet undiscovered great ape uh, type hominid potentially closely related to humans on a genetic level, um, I would think that there would be a pretty good chance that they could suffer from the coronavirus. And being that there aren't probably many uh, Sasquatches around, if that is what they are, um, this could be devastating to Sasquatch populations if they do catch it. I have heard that some cats and dogs can catch it. So, I mean, if that can happen, and, and, and then, you know, if Sasquatches are in fact, flesh and blood, just uh, regular uh, great apes or hominid type creatures, then I would think there's at least a, a, a reasonable possibility that they could catch it. On the other hand, if Sasquatches are interdimensional beings, um, I would imagine they, they probably aren't susceptible to it. Um, our medical science does not really cover the interactions between viruses that are of this earth and interdimensional beings so i would have to say if that is the truth behind sasquatch then they probably don't have anything to worry about during this current uh pandemic now the third option um if sasquatches are in fact demonic entities i doubt that they could suffer from coronavirus um but I feel like being uh, then of evil that potentially they could cause it. And I would wonder if anyone has caught coronavirus from Bigfoot encounters 
although I would imagine that would be rare because Bigfoot encounters that have actual physical contact are, there's almost none of them. And even Bigfoot encounters that break the, the six foot rule of social distancing are extremely rare. So even if Bigfoots are malignant demons or just a regular, extremely rare hominid great apes that can carry the virus, um, I doubt that there's a great likelihood that it would spread between Bigfoots and humans from an encounter. Um, and probably not from being left behind anywhere, considering that the places of these interactions would probably be uh, a wilderness area. Not really allowing for the spread of the, the respiratory droplets. So that's kind of the thoughts I was having about uh, the state of Bigfoot family groups and Bigfoot populations during this global pandemic. And uh, it's been nice to check in with y'all. Uh, I hope to get back out in the field and do some real research as soon as possible, but I'm trying to be responsible with this uh, social distancing. Oh, what, what happened there? That came on again. Well, let me just try to fix that. And so for now, I'm staying inside. You can see I've got my mask on. So um, y'all be safe and hopefully we can all get back to our research or whatever it is we love to do as soon as possible. Um, see you soon. This is Josh signing out. Thanks for watching Squatching with Josh, Minnesota 2, Bigfoots in the Coronavirus.